All right, guys, so today I'm doing a relatively big project. I'm going to be doing the SVC bump stop, adjustable bump stop system with Fox IFP, internal floating piston bump stops. Uh, these are two inch versus 2.5 inch, just because I don't feel the need to go anything uh, bigger than that. Also, I don't want a hard stop. I want it more gradual, which is what this does. And then also the Icon Delta joint upper control arms. Uh, so in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to install the delta joint upper control arm from Icon Vehicle Dynamics. So the first step to this is taking a 21 millimeter wrench or a socket if you can fit it in there uh, and just unscrewing the upper control arm mounts to the frame. Uh, we just use a monkey wrench on the inside. So once you have the nuts removed, leave the bolts in for now. We're going to first uh, loosen this uh, bolt here from the taper pin, then we're gonna hammer it to knock it out of place. Shit does not want to... And there you go. So what we found is that you don't need to remove the coilovers completely. Um, it will make it easier for the front side on both sides, um, but by Disconnecting the lower joint of the uh, front shock, you can still, you can move the coil over and shock enough to slide that bolt out. Before you disconnect it, and that is a 27 millimeter, uh, both sides, you're going to need to, no, it's a 27 millimeter on this side, 30 millimeter on the other. Um, you should support the lower control arm just so it doesn't drop quickly. In order to get the amount of articulation we need in order to reach this second bolt, we're gonna undo the nut attached here on the left, and then we're going to loosen this top nut, and that'll basically allow us to get a little more play in the suspension to articulate the shock this way, which will then give us the clearance we need and save us the pain in the ass of pulling the entire shock out. Once you get that up, just turn it around and just leave it on the side for the meantime. Now that the nut has been removed from the right side of the shock, we're just unscrewing this bolt. Once this is fully removed, the shock will be able to freely move and give us that articulation we need to fit back there and pull out that last bolt on the upper control arm. So this is a 30 millimeter nut right here, which goes on the right end of that shock. There's a pretty big gap there. So thankfully we were able to fit our impact, which helped a lot. And then from that point, you just continue to the left side to unscrew the bolt. So at this point, you should be able to just do it by hand. Now, you don't need to necessarily unscrew it if you could tap it out, but unscrewing it does work. So when you're putting this in, uh, you're going to want the long heim joint spacer on the outside and the short one on the inside. And that applies to both sides. It's gonna be a bit of a tight squeeze, but just do the same thing you did to take it out, put it back in. And once you have that done, to start reinstalling everything where it's supposed to go. And you'll have a finished control arm job. 